Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning into my channel and for listening to the videos. Um, today I like to talk about my Music Maker's Sonic Harp. Many people have asked me about this harp and my experience with it, so I thought I'd make a video to showcase it and to talk about the features and help you decide whether this is the right fit for you. So here we go. So the harp has 29 strings and um, it is 37 inches tall by 24 inches from the front to the back. And then the sound box is 13 inches wide. Um, so it's a fairly large lap harp. Um, I would actually call it a mid-size harp that's able to sit on your lap. And it has a beautiful tone. Um, it is very full and gorgeous sounding. Pretty bright on the top. Um, many people say that it actually plays like a floor harp and I would agree with that because of this such a wide soundboard it actually projects the sound fairly well and um, I've actually played this harp in a group of I think 35 people and everyone can hear me so um, you can definitely use this harp um, for performance or or for therapy too. Um, you can play very soft too. Um, it comes in cherry wood uh, for normal, but it also is available in all these different vivid color choices and mine is a galaxy purple purple and white is my favorite color so of course i was going to go for a purple um, but if you go with a vivid color harp um, it would have to be in maple wood because of um, the staining would only work well on a maple wood it wouldn't work too well on a cherry wood so unfortunately but it still sounds very nice um, but using going with the maple wood will add an additional pound to your harp. So cherry woods harps are nine and a half pounds, and um, this one that comes in the maple is ten and a half pounds um, when it's fully levered. And it comes fully levered with Capic levers, which is my favorite levers of all times. They flip very easily and very smooth in action. So if anyone recommends, I would always recommend a Capic harp. Um, I mean, Kamek levers. So, um, let's talk about the strings. Um, so, I said earlier, normally it comes um, with a range of C to C. Well, when I first got the harp, um, I felt it was very nice all the way through, but the top octave sounds a little bit too bright for me, too kind of crispy sounding. So, um, I decided I was going to experiment with the stringing a little bit to see how I can tone it down. And um, at first I tried to um, change out the gauges, um, didn't really quite sound right. Um, so then I decided maybe I could just loosen to kind of like tune it one note down, which is from B to B and see how it sounds. And it actually sounded really nice and I was going to just stay with that. But then a B to B range is kind of odd. Um, so I decided maybe I should go one more down, which is A to A. Um, it's more um, functional for me uh, to have that lower A note than to have it stop at B. So that's what I decided to do. But I did have to change out the gauge of um, about three octaves down here. Not the very top octave, but the, the rest of the strings, I had to switch up a gauge, meaning to go one gauge thicker, so not to feel so loose and floppy, and to have a better directional tone. 
Um, and, uh, and I checked with Jacob and I think they said it was all right. Um, it should be okay for the harp. So now they offer an ATA stringing for those of you who um, wanted that choice. And I would say that um, going from C to C to A to A, it really warmed up the harp and made it more resonant. Um, it actually also helped to reduce the string tension just a tad. Um, the string tension um, for a normal C to C, I would say is about kind of medium to a little bit above medium, but now it just feels like a little bit below medium um, for the lower strings. The upper strings feels pretty much the same as my floor harps, um, which is a Thormalin Serenade uh, for those of you who've tuned in. Um, so yeah, so I really love the sound of this harp. It's very rich sounding and um, pretty much one of the best I've ever tried um, in terms of you know how it projects and how rich and how warm and, and just you know very inviting very nice tone um, so in terms of the string spacing um, I took a ruler and I measured it and um, I was actually kind of surprised that it it came out pretty even throughout the entire harp meaning that right here I measured it's about between 13 to 14 millimeters in from the middle of the string to the next middle of the string and then um, up here and down here actually measured out pretty much the same um, but because these strings are thinner and the bottom strings are thicker you actually feel like you have less space down here than you do have up here, um, which is a little bit opposite of what I have with my floor harp. Normally for floor harps, you have a little wider string spacing down in the base, and then for the upper range, you have a little bit smaller spacing. So anyway, um, it it's not an issue for me. It takes a little bit getting used to when I first switch from, let's say my pedal harp to this harp, then I kind of have to change the angle of my hand a little bit to adjust but i can adjust fairly quickly like you know after a few songs so i wouldn't say that that's a bother for me so in terms of how stable it is um let me just back up here and i'll sit on the chair so i so you guys can see um this is a normal height chair it's about 17 inches tall and um i can't really you know i have to sit straight back so then it doesn't become too tall for me um it is a little on the tall side i have to admit um so for people who are a little petite i'm about 5'3 a little bit more than that and um, it's fairly tall so I would have to make sure that my knees are usually a little bit lower than my hips so that it doesn't become too tall up here for me to play. Um, but if you can see at the bottom, it comes with um, a rubber padding so that it sits on your lap fairly um, stably and it doesn't feel like it's slipping off of me when I play. Um, and it doesn't really wobble so you just have to make sure that you have the right height chair that allows you to have this um, positioning um, also they made the sound box a little bit asymmetrical I don't know if you could see um, it's a little wider on this side than it is on this side so when you sit on your lap, you tilt it this way a little bit and it feels like it conforms to your body. Um, so yeah, I would say it's fairly stable on my labs. And um, But if you want to try to, let's say, sit on the ground and play it, um, it's a little bit of a challenge. So. So I wanted to show you how 
It feels if you want to play it sitting on the ground. Um, because of the slanted sound box that the bottom face um, is actually a pretty tricky thing. Um, so what happens is because you cannot really tilt it, well when you tilt it, um, it's gonna, a lot of weight is gonna rest on your shoulder versus if you just have a square box and you tilt it forward, you can sort of find that fulcrum point um, to balance it. But with this one, you know, a lot of the weight is gonna sit on your shoulder um, because there isn't a whole lot of, you know, this is kind of trying to tilt um, based on, well, the angle of it. Um, you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, so what I do is um, actually I would use this part of my leg to just prop against it a little bit so then it takes some of the weight off, then I can play. Then it's fairly stable. One of the questions uh, many people have asked me is um, whether they think that this is um, okay to um, start their heart lessons with. Um, I would, I would normally, if people ask me what type of heart to, to begin uh, their heart lessons, I would normally recommend a floor heart, and the reason is because it's more stable um, on the floor, and you can concentrate on just trying to get your body in a correct position, and also your hand gestures and your fingers in the right position. Um, if you start off with the lap harp, um, you would be kind of struggling with where that positioning would be because it may, you don't have the right sense yet of how it should feel normally and you're already struggling to keep it balanced off your knees and um, it would just be very challenging for you. It is doable, but um, if you have a choice between a floor harp and a lap harp, I would most definitely go with the floor harp, um, just to eliminate that factor. The other thing I wanted to share with you guys is um, this cello stand that I found. I had this um, back when my daughter was taking cello lessons. Um, I bought this for her to put her cello on, and it actually works perfect for the sonnet harp to keep it off the ground and for a display uh, stand. Uh, it's fairly stable, and it has left and right adjustments, um, so you can actually adjust the lower adjust the right hand side a little lower to accommodate for the bigger sound box on the right hand side. So it works out perfect. So for those of you who uh, are interested, I'll, I'll leave a link below so you can find it. Okay, now I'm just going to play some clips of um, sound bites so you can kind of hear how it sounds.
So I hope that information has helped you to um, get a better feel of whether this is the right heart for you. Um, feel free to comment below if you have any more questions or send me an email if you want further details. Okay.